Go. Okay. Um, for me personally, I think it's the, the thing that I find most, most interesting is working with just a whole range of differently talented, smart people. So I get to work with some really, really excellent developers, really brilliant creative designers, um, some really brilliant business people and strategists. And you know the way all that fits together, the sum of all that is greater than its parts, and it's you know that's the kind of magical bit that really makes me happiest. So let me ask: uh, when you guys were doing the, you did the Guardian stuff? No, Telegraph. Telegraph. Yeah. How do we say Guardian? Telegraph. So tell me what you did with the Telegraph. Well, we're, we're doing another project for them at the moment. But when we first met them, well, I did a lot of work just building applications for them in the old days. But when social media arrived, they were really keen to get into blogging. And actually, being a an editorial brand that's all based on opinion, blogging was the perfect platform for them. But the journalists were very scared of that at the time. So our job was to go in and make them unscared, make them realise that they, you know, this stuff wasn't going to put them out of a job, and it was perfectly okay for a member of their, their readership to kind of come back and ask them something because that was something they were never really used to before. You know, someone was, could say something back to them. Um, and so, yeah, uh, we, we, we built a blogging platform them, platform for them the first year. Then we built a social networking service for them the year after that. And uh, right now we're building a, a, a very kind of socialised fashion proposition where um, you can buy stuff as well as just browsing it, which is brilliant for newspapers because they're all looking for new revenue models. At the moment. And you did the Telegraph. Like, who else do you, like, are, every, is, are people coming to you across all these different medias and saying, we need this? Yeah, that, we've been really lucky. We're going two and a half years. We, we've only pitched for one job, which was for Channel 5, a terrestrial channel in the UK. We, we made, in fact, all of our business is coming through referrals. Really? And I guess once you've got a reputation and you have to be quite picky about what you choose, we turn down a lot of work so that we can work on the most exciting, interesting, awesome stuff. But if you do that, you find that people will just come back to you again and again. So what's the most exciting, awesome stuff that you can mention? Most exciting, awesome stuff that I can mention? Um, that's an interesting one. <laughs> well, some, I can't really mention what it's about, but there's some very cool iPad stuff coming up. Really? And I think because we've always done a lot of stuff with publishers and with user experience design, and with social, these things are really coming together now with um, the iPad and publishers, media owners are jumping up and down, rubbing their hands, hoping that this is a return to the good old days where they can make money through right. subscription and advertising. It's awesome. Let me ask because I'm a I'm a iPad hater. Oh, really? um, yeah, yeah, for lots of reasons. Um, uh, it's all locked down and. Yeah, well, and like they, I, they, they, Apple just removed two or three of the publisher um, apps. You think the iPad is going to be? A, a I think it's going to be really interesting in a few ways. Um, oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there's nobody coming. <laughs> there is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, this is where I get killed. Uh -huh. So yeah, I think it's going to be one of the ways. I think it's going to be most interesting. Actually, is that the interaction design that the iPad is kind of really going to accelerate is all this stuff about panning sideways uh -huh. and of um, uh, really big images. And we're, we're suddenly going to see all websites change. I think we're going to break out of yeah. the very narrow boxes and columns of HTML websites. Right. And, uh, and, and begin to look at it like a web. It, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, as a universal space rather right. than these horrible little hierarchical websites that we've been used to for the first 15 Is years. Is that the iPad? Um, I think the iPad is going to play a role in that, uh -huh. I really do. I think because the iPad is going to give people this scent, this aesthetic in a very powerful way because Apple can do that. Right. And they've already established that with the iPhone. Right. So I also think the iPad is going to appeal to people who are a little bit older than us. I I'm talking about my parents' generation right. because it is basically an idiot box. Right. It's a beautiful idiot box. Right. It's the right price. And really, the, the price was really shocking. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be able to watch movies on it, which they like, right. and get on the internet so they can talk to their kids right. and Skype them and all that kind of stuff. So I think for them, it's a really kind of, it may be sad that it's all locked down, and I agree with you, if everything's going to be like that, I don't want to be part of that web. Right. But I don't think the web will get squashed. I still remain optimistic. Right. I think there's a place for this kind of, this kind of device as well. Dude, that was five minutes ex 